to this new level of glory and think you won't have no conflict. If you watched our season five, 21 days of, of, uh, of prayer, conduct and conflict was one of the days, was one or two of the days as it went. How now do you handle such conflict? How do you hand it now opposed to when you first started walking with Christ, before you got to this level of glory, before you got into this promise, before you even got an inkling of it? How you handled it then is not how you're gonna handle it now. Hence why nobody was being petty. Nobody was stooping to the level. People went into their word for me. People came up higher in the secret place of the most high. They came into the secret place with me. I didn't have people around me trying to pull me out of the secret place. You don't need people around you trying to pull you out of the secret place if you are in the secret place of the most high they're not coming with more gossip about the people they're not coming with pettiness they're coming to remind you that you've been trained for this and they're coming into the place of the most high where you are dwelling where you are safe because they know that's where your safety and refuge is and they're coming into this place with prayer they're coming in this place in this place with a reminder to understand what's the prophetic word that the lord has spoken over you and pray with you these things they're showing you you have been trained for this because you might forget you might I forget who you are even though you are in rulership you have people who's coming to do these things because hence the thing wrestled with my crown the cat at first and then there was a mouse trying to come from my foot there will be conflict coming but you need to deal with it in a more adagragi place and a, and a draggy place, if I'm saying it right, opposed to pedagogy. This is a difference. Go back and um, watch our tub word if you wanna know why I keep mentioning these words. But you are dealing with it in a more mature place. Um, it tells us crowns are symbols of achievements. They are rewards of service and accomplishments or insignias of power and authority. The jewels in the crown represents the wealth, the wisdom, and the resources and instruments the crown one's dominion, the crown one's dominion possesses. Meaning that um, it says horns or crowns are usually given to military leaders for their warrior prow prowess and conquest of kingdoms, of kingdoms, of places you are going, how your crown is decked, decked out with the jewels in the crown speaks of of, of the resources, instruments, wisdom, wealth um, that the Lord has, that you possesses, that the Lord has given you more gifts. Come on. But it's all for the reason, what? Christ must be the reason. Christ must be the reason for this season. And when I'm speaking it now, and I felt like it was a Christmas word because I had to re uh, release it now, even now, the Lord said, Christ must be the reason for this new season that you're going into. Do not put yourself first. Christ is the reason for this new season for the kingdom of God to advance in the earth. Come on now. Okay. Um, so again, the Lord also used mice as a divine intervention